Have you ever wondered what a Salesforce administrator is, what they do and what they earn and how you can become one? In this video, I'm going to share with you everything that you need to know. In this video, we're going to cover some key points about Salesforce administrators. We're going to talk about what they are and what they do, what certifications and skills they need, how much money they make and the opportunities that they have for future progression. We'll also talk about how you can become one and if Salesforce is the right career for you. My name is Dave Massey, the Salesforce training guy, and I'm the founder of GetForce Certified. I've been in the Salesforce ecosystem for a while now, and I've worked with many companies and Salesforce professionals in a variety of roles. I've trained thousands of Salesforce administrators, so I'm in a pretty good spot to tell you about them. So let's start with what is a Salesforce administrator? Well, Salesforce administrators are often called awesome admins, and there's a good reason for that. They are the heroes behind the scenes. They keep the Salesforce orgs working and functioning as expected. They have a deep understanding of your businesses, its processes and its problems. And they know how to make the most of Salesforce and customize your org to meet the unique needs of your business. A good Salesforce admin can make a huge difference to any business. They can streamline business operations, improving efficiency, productivity and profitability. They can pinpoint opportunities for improvement within your org and they help your users get the most out of Salesforce and in turn, your businesses achieve a greater return on investment. They're involved in a wide range of activities and responsibilities. You'll most likely find admins handling user management, ensuring the security of the Salesforce org, helping automate repetitive tasks and processes, managing reports and dashboards and keeping on top of the overall health and data accuracy of your org. So what can you expect to do on a day-to-day -day basis as a Salesforce admin? Well, quite a lot to be honest. You'll be heavily involved in user management. Admins are usually responsible for the management of users and this can involve creating, updating, freezing and deactivating users. Configuration and customization. Remember, admins are the ones who carry out the bulk of the customization of your Salesforce org. This can be anything from custom fields to page layouts to record types to flows. Pretty much anything that changes in your org that doesn't require code will be the work of an admin. Reports and dashboards. When it comes to creating reports and dashboards, admins are the one who know best. They create and maintain reports and dashboards to help users and stakeholders quickly understand what is going on in the company. This enables them to make data-driven decisions and to drive the company forward. Data management. In order for the reports and dashboards to be accurate, the data needs to be accurate too. And it's the admins who are usually responsible for that as well. They often carry out data imports, exports, backups, cleanups, and they help manage duplicate records through duplicate management and data validation rules. Security management. One of the most important functions of a Salesforce admin is managing the security of the Salesforce org. This includes managing security settings, access levels, and ensuring that users only see what they're meant to see. This is particularly important when dealing with sensitive data and it requires expert knowledge of the Salesforce sharing architecture. They're also responsible for system maintenance. So while not the most exciting part of the role, admins carry out routine maintenance tasks such as monitoring system performance, executing scheduled jobs, ensuring that integrations are performing as expected and all other routine tasks associated with system administrators. One of the most exciting aspects is automation creation. One of Salesforce's biggest selling points is the ability to automate routine and repetitive tasks, allowing for users and companies to be more effective and efficient. And can you guess who's responsible for creating and maintaining those automations? Yep, the admins. This can include anything from approval processes to flows, and they can make a huge difference to user experience and the company's return on investment from Salesforce. But it's not just technical duties that an admin performs. They're also involved in training and educating users, helping them get the most out of Salesforce and identifying opportunities for improvement. Admins need to be well versed in documentation so that they can ensure that changes are recorded in a clear and transparent fashion. This can include flowcharts, user stories and other documentation. They're also involved in advising key stakeholders about the Salesforce org and any improvements that need to be made to make the most of it. People often mistake Salesforce administrators for being an easy job. 
usually because it's considered the entry level role. However, I can tell you, it's far from an easy job. It can be one of the most demanding and widest ranging roles that involves a wide number of skills, both technical and soft. A good admin can make a huge difference to a Salesforce org and the company that is using it, and they're extremely valuable. So now you know a little bit more about what a Salesforce admin is and what they do, what about the certification and skills that are important for them? Well, let's start with the certifications. Over the last few years, there's been a distinct drop in the number of people becoming accidental admins. An accidental admin is someone who falls into the role of working as a Salesforce administrator by default or accident. So it may be that their company is using Salesforce and they're asked to look after it as part of their job, or the Salesforce admin leaves and they're left to take over. People generally don't realize how complex and demanding a role it is until they're doing it. This is becoming less and less common now, and for a really good reason. A career in Salesforce is one of the most rewarding, both financially and professionally, and it's in an enjoyable tech career. So we'll talk about how much money admins make shortly. What I've seen more and more is that companies require the administrator certification as the absolute minimum requirement to even get an interview, let alone a job offer. The admin cert shows companies that you have a baseline level of knowledge and understanding about Salesforce, and it starts to open the doors to interviews. On top of that, there are a couple of additional certifications that can really help you progress your Salesforce admin career. The platform app builder gives you more knowledge and when it comes to designing, building and implementing custom solutions. The advanced administrator certification is a step up on the admin cert and it shows that you have a strong knowledge of the more advanced Salesforce features and functionalities. And then there's the business analyst certification. This shows that you have a really good understanding of requirements gathering, documentation and supporting projects from a wide range of angles. From a technical standpoint, a good Salesforce administrator needs to have excellent technical skills. They don't need to be able to write Apex or create Lightning Web Components, but they need to have a strong working knowledge of out-of-the-box Salesforce features. They need a solid understanding of the data model, security settings, reports, dashboards, business processes, and much more. And a key skill that is becoming more and more in demand is Flows. It's the only declarative automation tool that we have, and when it's used in the right way, it can be incredibly powerful. Admins who succeed in their career are usually confident and capable when creating and maintaining flows. And when it comes to soft skills, you need a few. Being a Salesforce administrator means that you're going to be interacting with users and stakeholders, so you better make sure that you have great communication skills. You'll constantly be facing new challenges, so you'll need to stretch your knowledge and ability, which means you need a growth mindset and the desire to always be learning. With those challenges, you are going to need to make sure that you enjoy solving problems because there's going to be plenty of problems to solve. Being an awesome admin requires a wide range of skills and expertise that could take years to develop. So why put yourself through it? Why spend all that time and all that energy building your knowledge and your expertise? Well, let's talk about the money. Salesforce administrators make a decent amount of money and they have a lot of career progression as well. According to Salesforce, the average base salary for a US Salesforce administrator is $86,000. Now, in my experience, I've seen entry roles from between $60,000 to $70,000 and experienced admin roles for over $100,000. These are base salaries and you can usually expect around 10% as a yearly performance based bonus, but it's dependent on location, skill set and experience. In the UK, you can expect to earn around about £50,000 on average. Entry level roles range from £30,000 to £40,000 and experienced admins can earn over £70,000. Again, this is dependent on your location, skill set and experience. So you might be thinking, what about if I get bored as an admin and I want more? I want more knowledge, more variety, more challenges and more money. Well, as I mentioned earlier, a Salesforce administrator role is considered the entry level role to a Salesforce career. After a bit of experience, you can look at becoming a developer or a consultant. Perhaps you look at becoming a business analyst or a designer, or maybe in the future, you want to take it to that top tier and you want to become an architect. The possibilities are endless and with progression comes rewards. Salesforce consultants earn on average $103,000, Developers earn on average $120,000, 
designers $122,000 and business analysts $93,000. And if you put in the time to become an architect, you can expect around $140,000. However, I have seen variations on these numbers, including architects who earn well over $200,000. So how can you become a Salesforce admin? What are the first steps that you could take? Well, first of all, you want to sign up for a Trailhead account. Trailhead is Salesforce's free online training platform, and it will guide you through a variety of build along modules and projects to help you build your Salesforce skills for free. If you are brand new to Salesforce, I'd recommend starting with the associate certification. It's an entry level certification that will allow you to build your Salesforce knowledge without feeling too overwhelmed you'll cover a lot of ground that is on the admin exam and it's a great way to dip your toes into the water and to find out more about the Salesforce world. From there, you'll want to focus on your Salesforce Administrator certification and in particular, the Prepare for Your Salesforce Administrator Credential Trail Mix. It will walk you through various aspects of the Salesforce admin exam and the skills and knowledge that you need to succeed. However, I have found that Trailhead isn't always enough it doesn't go into enough detail about what you need to know to pass the exam. It's great for getting an initial feel and idea for Salesforce and its capabilities, but you may need something more. That's why I created GetForce Certified. We provide clear, concise and comprehensive Salesforce training that helps you get Salesforce certified quicker and easier. We use a combination of on-demand training videos, quick and easy to use cheat sheets, and realistic practice and mock exams so that you can be confident heading into the Salesforce Administrator Certification. I'll leave a link in the description for more information. While you are studying for your certification, you'll want to start building out your LinkedIn network and applying for jobs. There's a couple of things that you can do when looking for your first Salesforce role, which I'll cover in another video if you want that one as well. But before you start your Salesforce journey, you need to ask yourself one vitally important question. Is it for me? Well, only you know. I think that anyone can learn Salesforce. I studied part time and I passed my admin exam in 51 days with no prior knowledge or tech background. Within two years, I was working for Salesforce as a lead solution engineer before I ventured out on my own to train and empower other trailblazers through GetForce Certified. If you're worried that you're not technical enough, don't be. You do not need to have any technical experience, background or degree to succeed in Salesforce. If you want a varied role where every day can be completely different for the last, Salesforce might be for you. If you want to perhaps pivot in the future from being hands-on to be more advisory such as a business analyst, Salesforce might be for you. Or if you want to become a developer, write code and create highly customized solution, Salesforce might be for you. Or perhaps you want the opportunity to earn a great salary while enjoying what you do. Salesforce could be for you. But only you know if Salesforce is the right career for you. But if it is, it's an amazing career that can literally change your life. It has done for me. My name's Dave Massey, the Salesforce training guy. It's been an honour and pleasure spending the last 10 minutes or so with you. And I hope you do choose to pursue a Salesforce career. If you do, make sure that you check out GetForce Certified for the most clear, concise and comprehensive Salesforce training and feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. I'll see you soon.